Monthly installment payments. Sometimes people choose to take out a loan to help them buy bigger items, maybe a house or a car. And it's important that when people take out a loan to buy such an item, that they understand what the total cost of the loan is. They don't just pay back the amount that they've borrowed, they need to pay back that amount plus the interest. Let's take an example. Kathy bought a computer for her business that cost $978. She made a down payment of $178 and took out a 13% annual percentage rate loan to finance the remaining balance for three years. What will her monthly payments be and how much total interest will she have paid after three years? I've written the information on the board. The computer cost $978. Her down payment was $178. Her loan is at an APR of 13% and she's taking out a loan over a three-year period. The first thing that we need to do is find out how much money she is actually borrowing. Her computer cost $978, but she paid a $178 down payment. This tells us that she needs to borrow $800 in all. Now there's, this table is going to help you to find out exactly how much money Kathy is having to pay on her loan. She's taken out an $800 loan at a 13% interest over a three year period. We have a chart that will help us figure out exactly what monthly payments she will have to pay. We know that Kathy took out a 13% loan, so we'll come down the APR column until we come to 13%. We know that she took this loan out over a three year period, so we'll move across the chart until we come to the three year column. This tells us that Kathy will have to pay $3.37 per month on each $100 that she borrowed. She will be paying $3.37 per $100 of her loan each and every month. The next thing that we need to do is figure out exactly how much her payment will be. We know that she borrowed $800. So we're going to have to figure out how much her monthly payment will be when we know $3.37 per hundred came off the table. We're going to take our $800 divided by 100 and we find out that she's going to have eight units of $3.37. We're going to move to our calculator now and say I know that she's going to have to pay $3.37 per hundred and since she borrowed $800 we're going to multiply that by eight and we find out that her monthly payment is $26.96. Let's make a note of that. Her monthly payment is $26.96 and she will pay that for each month of her loan. Now we want to figure out exactly how much that's going to be. So we're going to figure out how many payments like this she's going to make. We know that she's borrowed for three years and she, we know that there are 12 months in each year. So we have three years times 12 payments per year and we find out that she's going to have to make 36 payments. We also know that each one of those payments is going to be $26.96. So we'll multiply the 36 months times $26.96. So we see the total amount of the loan will be $970.56. At the end of three years, she will have paid back $970.56. We do want to recall, however, that the amount that she borrowed was $800. She did not borrow that much. So if we subtract the cost of the computer, we will find out that she had to pay $170.56 in interest charges. The cost of this loan was $170.56. If you're going to buy a big ticket item and use credit to do so, it would be to your advantage to figure out the total cost of the loan prior to that purchase. You're going to have the opportunity to practice some more problems like this, and once again, if we make careful use of our calculator, it will be a real time saver for you. In your first example, we have a loan amount of $600 at an annual percentage rate of 9% over a term of two years. So we want to use our upper chart to help us figure out the monthly payments. We've got a 9% loan for two years. We'll move to the upper chart to help us solve this problem. We know that it's a 9% loan, so we'll come down the annual percentage rate column until we find 9%. We also know this loan has a term of two years, so we'll move across to the two-year column. We find out that the cost per $100 on this loan will be $4.57 each month. Let's enter that into our calculator. We'll have $4.57 per month, per $100. 
Now if we look down, it's a $600 loan. So we know we have six units of $4.57 each month. So we need to multiply this figure by six. I have $4.57 times six. So then I know my monthly payment will be $27.42. Since this loan is over a term of two years, I know that I need to make 24 payments of this amount. So I will take the payment and multiply it by 24. And I get a total cost of the loan of $658.08. So when I've paid off the loan, I will have paid the loan amount of $600 plus the cost of the loan, which is $58.08. That's almost a 10% increase over the original loan amount. Remember, when you are figuring out these loans, you want to figure out the total cost of the loan, and this chart will help you get quicker at doing that. A loan from First Star will brighten your horizon. Banks want to loan you money, for that is one of the major ways they earn income. So you will find banks advertising that they offer loans. Here is an ad. First Star has great auto loans. Stop in for details. Again, let me stress it. Try to avoid personal debt. Better buy a good used car than go into debt and buy a new one. Sometimes you need a piece of equipment for your business. Let's look at this video. You're at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. You see this tractor and front loader that you're interested in purchasing. The cost of the front loader is $4,095 and the tractor is $13,679. If you are told that you can purchase this tractor and front loader with 10% down and an APR rate of 13%, what is your monthly payment for five years? Let's do the math. What we have here is the tractor costing $13,679 and the front loader costing $4,095. So what we want to do is add these two items together. So let's go to the calculator and add them. So that's $13,679 plus $4,095. And that equals $17,774. And so they put down 10% down payment. So that means that we're going to deduct now 10% of the total of these two items, the tractor and the front loader. So let's minus 10%. And so the item now costs $15,996 and 60 cents. So we're going to round that up to $16,000. Now, the annual percentage rate is 13%, and the rate is, for 13% is, at five years, the rate is $2.28 per hundred. So if we divide this 16,000 by 100, all we have to do is take off two zeros, and so we have 160. So then we have to multiply that by the rate now, $2.28. So let's go to the calculator, clear it. And so we're going to put in 160 times $2.28 equals, so the monthly cost for the tract and front loader is $364.80. So if you purchase this tract and front loader, annual percentage rate of 13%, and you did a 10% down payment, and the five year rate is $2.28 per hundred, the monthly payment every month is $364.80. And I just like to give you a little bit of advice. I started a machining company called Reliable EDM, and 
These machines are very expensive. Now, I would love to buy new machines. And just like over here, this track and front loader, they're nice to have. But I started this business with another mentality. I wanted to avoid as much as possible going into debt because I figured perhaps the business would not be successful. And if I would buy something used and buy it a few years old, they usually can buy close to half price of what you buy something new. Then if I wanted to sell it, if the machining company failed, I could always get pretty close to the price I paid for it. And I want you to understand this little symbol over here, this percent, and the numbers before it. Because many times people, well, we'll buy everything new, they spend, they got the money, and going into business, and they put themselves so deeply in debt that many businesses go under because they can't make the payments. So be intelligent. Try to avoid debt as much as possible. You'll live a lot more successful life. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.